The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 75, Gallium Caves. Survival difficulty, Class 5. Unsafe, unsecure, devoid of entities. Level 75 is the 76th level of the back rooms. It was discovered on 03-03-2019 by a deceased Meg operative. Image caption. The only known photo of level 75. Description. Level 75 is a large group of narrow, interconnected caves entirely made out of gallium. Footnote. Gallium is a chemical element with the symbol GA and atomic number 31. It is a blue-gray metal that is soft enough to be cut with a kitchen knife. Gallium is solid at normal room temperatures, but much like mercury, cesium, and rubidium, it becomes liquid when heated slightly. End footnote. The exact size of the level is unknown as only approximately 10 kilometers of caves have been confirmed. Gallium is the only material found on the level. Temperatures of level 75 vary between 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, dropping and rising every three to four hours. As the melting point of gallium is approximately 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, the caves of level 75 melt and solidify again. It is worth noting that not all areas of the level are heated at the same time. When the level is warm enough, gallium can drip on the wanderer's body, blocking the caves and, most of the time, suffocating the wanderer under tons of liquid metal. When the level collapses, gallium drips down the bottom. It regenerates by falling back down from above, forming an infinite loop. The caves of level 75 are constantly changing due to the extremely strong hot winds, which build and twist the caves in random shapes. Because of that, caves of level 75 do not have an exact width or height. In most cases though, the caves are no wider than 5 meters and no taller than 2 meters. It is highly recommended leaving the level as quickly as possible because staying in there for long periods of time is always a death sentence. At all times, wanderers who are in the level will experience pitch black darkness, so it is highly advised to bring a flashlight and use it as sparingly as possible because of the heating properties of the light. Due to the lack of any natural light source, exploration of level 75 is nearly impossible. Because of the environment of level 75, it is entirely devoid of entities. As level 75 is the only known source of elemental gallium, people will often try to come here to collect some gallium. Meg organizes yearly expeditions for mass harvesting. This task is extremely dangerous, so Meg constructs special large glass boxes for mining. In case the caves start melting, Gallium from level 75 is used in electronics, construction of semiconductors, and weapons. Bases, outposts, and communities. There are no known bases, outposts, or communities on this level. Establishing any group on level 75 is deemed impossible. Discovery Log Authorization approved. View 75 exp underscore log underscore one dot docs. Forward. This is the earliest known voice log of level 75, recorded on March 3rd, 2019, by a deceased Meg operative, Dominic, last name censored for privacy. 1302. Sounds of heavy breathing and panting. 1305. Hey, anyone? Holy fuck. Where am I? 1306. Metal thud. Person shouts. Wait, what the? This one feels different. 1307. Device beeps loudly. I am fucked. No connection. Device beeps loudly. Ah! 1309. Alright. Meg Operative Dominic, last name censored for privacy. Member of the Level 8 Cave Raiders outpost here. It looks like I found a new level or something like that. I was exterminating a group of hounds when I found some shiny passage. Really, it looked like silver. Never seen anything like that. It was about a meter wide, and... 
God, why did I ever think of entering it alone? Apparently, I'm stuck there, and I just can't find the place where I entered this hellish cave. You should know that it's very dark in here. I mean, no light sources at all. Luckily, I got a flashlight. It's low on battery, though. I'll be reporting every time I see something different. 1312. I just noticed something interesting. It all looks like some metal. I think it could be silver, but it's extremely soft. I mean, it looks soft enough to be cut with my pocket knife, and yes, the whole level is made out of this thing. It's something new for sure. 1330. I should have noted, it's actually cold as hell in here. I would say, uh, 10 degrees Celsius? No entities so far. I still have a gun in my hands, though. Nothing new so far. These caves kind of twist from left to right, but so far they never went down or up. I'm not even sure if I did the right thing. Maybe I should have stayed near the entrance. Camera clicks. I really hope this message gets to someone. 1350. Is it just me, or is it kind of warmer here? Like, room temperature. Everything looks the same, though. It's quite creepy here. I've been walking in complete darkness for about an hour. 1436. Okay, honestly, is this level trying to cook me alive? It's, like, noticeably hot. I even put my coat in my backpack as I'm getting sweaty. Still, nothing new, except for the rising temperature. Oh, wait. Sound of metal scratching against a pocket knife. I just took a piece of this metal with me, in case I ever get out of here, you know. 1525. Okay, my feet actually hurt. I'll just lay on the ground for a while. I feel like I'm not gonna need my gun. Really, not a single living being. It's lonely as fuck, plus I feel very isolated. These caves are like 180 centimeters tall. I barely fit in there. And yeah, the temperatures are still rising. I'll take a quick nap. 1607. I am not fucking lying. I just felt like some drop fall on my arm. It seems like the metal is melting. I gotta get out of here, and I mean right now. Loud metal thud. 1615. I'm running. It's hot as fuck. The metal is actually melting. It looks like mercury. I don't think it's toxic. The floor doesn't even feel solid anymore. I just feel like I'm going to drown in here, or even worse. 1642. I am going to die. I am going to fucking die in here and no one will even notice. It really feels like the ceiling is getting lower, to the point that I have to crawl. 1649. This is it. There is no way back or forward. I'm basically locked in here. The metal is blocking all ways of escape. So, uh, I don't stand any chance of survival. I... 1655. Crying. It's gonna crush me alive. Help. Help! The dead body of the Wanderer, which was partially encased in a metal-thick layer of solid gallium, was discovered approximately four weeks later by Meg Team Quick Match. The recording device and the camera were found as well, and they were hidden in his backpack with no damage sustained. The body of Dominic, last name censored for privacy, was extracted successfully. Entrances and Exits Entrances. There are currently only five known ways to enter this level. Rare, tiny, silvery passages of level 8 lead to level 75. Deposits of liquid gallium will appear in place of water in hotter areas in the caves of level 204. Entering them will bring you to level 75. Very rarely, the caves of level 420 will occasionally begin to convert into gallium as you continue deeper into them. These gallium caves will lead to level 75. Entering a certain hole in the walls of level 797 leads to level 75. Certain parts of cave systems in Dragon Skull Summit in level 817 gradually progress into level 75. Exits there are currently only four known ways to exit this level. Finding and touching an orange gallium patch in level 75 will bring you to level 16. Extremely rare subcaves of level 75, which are no wider than a meter, usually lead to level 302. One specific passageway in level 75 leads into the dark part of level 495. 
a group of random passageways in level 75 has a chance of leading into level 211.